working with the maker a bit more. Now I'm getting servos to go. Servos are an analog component, not a digital component. They don't take just a zero or one like an LED, which would be a lower or a high. Though you could run LEDs as analog and just change the voltage a little bit. That's a different thing. So you have to go to an analog output port. And these pins up here are A0 through A4, which are the analog output ports. You need three pins because you need a ground, a power, and a signal. That's a big reason why you can't use those because that's just two, and that's really more for an input of analog signal, kind of like a, a light sensor or a ther thermometer kind of thing, which would take two pins. So three pin out, analog. Um, they also are doing five volts because these need more power than um, the three volts that are, the, that the um, microbit needs. I am running them based on some code and I'm using the touch points to do different things. This pin, the first pin is setting it to zero and stopping it. Ooh, stopping it. There are two different kinds of servos. One's a continuous rotation servo and one's an angle servo. The angle servo is gonna go zero through 180, whatever number you tell it. The continuous rotation servos are gonna go forwards or backwards, depending on what number you give it. It wants three numbers, zero, 90, and 180. 90 is stopped. Zero is turned one direction, 180 is turned the other direction. So this would be a stop and get the zero. This would be go to 90, which is now, tell it sent a signal of zero to that, a number of zero to that, so it's going one way. I want to stop it. You see that went back to zero. And I want to go 180 for both of them, actually. And you notice how this is now turning a different direction, and this kind of went 180. And if I hit the 90 pin for the that, that was a 90 for that, and a zero for that. So again, zero and 180 means go like clockwise, go counterclockwise. 90's in the middle, so it says stop. So that's how I set things up. I tried using three servos, and when I had two continuous and one um, angle one, one of the continuous wasn't working right, it was, it was jumping. When I put on one continuous and three and two angles, it worked okay. Um, it's not, I tried four servos, and it just, yeah, it didn't like that. It wasn't working, probably because there's not enough power for it. So here's a simple code. Let's go back over to code. Da -da -da -da. Um, again, because I'm using some pins that are associated with the LED array and maybe the buttons, I had to turn off the LED array, and then I just set all pins to low just to get us initialized. Again, I'm using pin five, seven, and nine for my input, and then I'm using A0, A1, and I was using A2 for my third one. And my forever says, you know, if touch, touch, yeah, touch sensor T5 is touched, then set one pin to 90, that's the stop for the continuous, and set the other ones to zero degrees. If I touch seven, make the continuous one go one direction, set the uh, angles to 90, and then something just to show you, those are the servos, those, those are under the pins. Um, you see there's a pins block there. The maker bit set of code also has set analog pin, which I decided to use those two, and you can. There's no, there's no difference. It's the same thing, it's just how they're signifying that the upper part, the, the set right pin, servo right pin, this is kind of letting you know that it's a servo, but it's not a big deal. It might be long term better to understand that it's an analog pin being set and I could stick some other analog device on there instead of a servo and it would do whatever that analog device is supposed to do. Just more generic. Um, servo, I could, I, again, I could stick a, another analog device on a, on a command that says servo right pin and that analog device would do whatever zero or 90 would tell it to do. So there's some basic code, just simple. Again, there's a set of analog pins and they're designated by A, 
you know, I just for fun, I tried plugging into P5 over there in the bar, and over here. I tried to plug it into plug a server in P5, and guess what? Didn't work because it's a digital pin that's going to send out a zero or a one, not a 180 or a 90. And again, there's me using my um, touch sensors to trigger events. There's some servos.